Dia de los Muertos. It's the Day of the Dead. It starts Sunday, and today we're going to show you how to celebrate with what else? A Mexican feast, some really good food. Chef Mary Sue Milliken from Border Grill is here to show us what's on their menu. And this is a big time of year for the restaurant. It is. We build altars in our restaurants, and we encourage our guests to come in and, in the Mexican tradition, sort of honor the dead and celebrate their lives with the foods that they loved and drinks that they loved. And um, we decorate everything with lots of skulls and beautiful um, folk art and pictures of people that this is the chef that ta taught me to be, uh, inspired me to be a chef oh. way back when. So I always put him tribute. on our altar yes. with my little chef uh, <laughs> skeleton. And, you know, we have special menus at both the Border Girl Santa Monica and Border Girl Downtown Los Angeles. We have um, pumpkin tamales. We have a, a margarita with... i got to show this picture here. This Isn't is that pretty? incredible. It's got a is skull that cinnamon? On it? I don't know if we can get no, that on the camera. It's chocolate bitters, and we just make a little skull in a piece of plastic, and when you spray it... That's like the coolest thing. Isn't that great? Look at yeah. that. It's art on my cocktail. Yes. And um, so we do have unlimited brunch. And unlimited small dinner, plate. right? Yes. And you can have small plates, so you don't have to really decide, which is something I can Try always have trouble with. Yeah. Okay, some of your specialties. You have a corn Green tamale. corn tamale with sour cream and salsa. The, the, planta or the empanada is made with guava and cream cheese. Okay, let's go ahead and show the folks how we're, how yeah, we're going to we make this. Yeah, we just make a, a really easy so dough. So this is just a nice little dough. It's made with cream cheese, and I think we could have the recipe up on the a website. You want to put a little bit of cheese, and I'll put a little okay, bit of Okay, and the, what kind of cheese is this, That's Mary cream Sue? cheese mixed with a salty cheese called cotija. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You're very good at that. Oh, maybe I could be your sous chef. You could, easily. I like to put them side by side, and then just keeping a, a little piece of paper there. Okay, and then you just a little, little finger pinch. Yeah, and I also take the tines of my fork just to kind of make sure those two doughs marry really well. And then a little bit of egg wash on top and then make sprinkle with cinnamon sugar and we bake them. This okay, is so a big cinnamon part sugar of our... and, and uh, the guava and the, and the cheese, it's, it's going to be sweet well, and look, savory. Well, yeah, look at how beautiful they are when they're baked. Oh, my goodness. Light and fluffy. Look at that. And we're it's also... almost like a dessert. Yeah, almost, mm -hmm. but it's got a little oh, savory. Oh, I love the cinnamon sugar. So good. And we have our stew that stains the tablecloth. Okay, and Mancha you call it that because? Well, it can stain the tablecloth. We serve it with rice. It's a, a really hearty stew for the fall in Mexico. We learned to make this when we've been to Mexico several times and studied, you know, all different kinds of food. And then we put our own little twist on it. But this is our um, mancha mantales. Mm -hmm. And it's made with uh, pork and beef. And it has um, kind of sweet uh, squash, yam, plantains, a little bit of apple. And then we garnish it with a pineapple salsa, a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, and a tiny bit of cilantro. This is so fabulous. And in the in Mexican tradition and Latin culture, they'll put this on the stove and they just let it warm all day. And those wonderful smells filled the house. Yes, this is one of my favorite holidays because it really, you know, um, it just kind of celebrates the cycle of life. And, uh, you know, how sad it is when you lose people. But to celebrate what they loved is just, you know, kind of a healing thing. Right, and keeps their memory alive. So if folks come into uh, Border Grill right now, the restaurant, it's a big party. It's a celebration. Big party, especially with the drinks, because, you know, that's what we're that's all about. That's how you start a party. Yeah, margaritas, <laughs> and we have, you know, at Border Grill downtown Santa Monica, um, right off the promenade, we have the same brunch, unlimited small plates, all day, Saturday and Sunday, and our, our, uh, Mar our margaritas are made with these marigolds. We have edible mm. marigolds, so that's a really cool margarita. These are the the, mar the drinks from downtown. This is a mezcal sour made with uh, el Cil silencio. Oh, okay. Mezcal, which is kind of smoky, and uh, you know, regular sour, sweet and sour, fresh squeezed citrus juices. It all sounds so good. Thank you for being here, Chef. All right, more information about Border Grill and Dia de los Muertos starts tomorrow? Starts, uh, yeah, we're, we're celebrating they all weekend. They already started. Just we go did. to cakeonline.com, click <laughs> Scene on TV. Thank